Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooklyn if you're new here. Um, I'm currently doing the Disney college program. I'm about to go to work, but a few nights ago I went ahead and filmed my apartment slash room tour, which a bunch of people have been asking for. So I thought I would go ahead and do my intro right now. Um, so you're about to see the whole apartment, the kitchen, living room, my like the shared bathroom and my um, bedroom but the shared spaces so like the bathroom the living room and the kitchen i am going to voice over those because i didn't want to invade my roommate's privacy some of them were talking in the background of this video some of them were in the room some of them weren't and i didn't feel comfortable like speaking while i was filming so i just filmed it and i'm going to voice over that part and then whenever you get to my room then i'll like be talking talking regular and showing you through everything that's in my room I'm a little more in depth so if you're ready let's get into it so whenever you get into the room um, that's the front door you walk right here here's the laundry area it's just a simple dryer on top laundry and um, washer on the bottom and then this is all of our stuff our water heater all that fun junk this is the kitchen we have a fridge microwave stove dishwasher sink all the normal stuff this is my cabinet each of us got one cabinet um yeah, these all the appliances come with it um but you have to bring your own like silverware and stuff they have a few things of silver and pots and pans but not a bunch there is a garbage disposal just found this out literally two days ago um yeah <laughs> we have a garbage disposal over here are all our trash cans um living room our roommates that came the week after me and my first roommate moved in brought all this cool decoration stuff so like it's kind of a blue theme apartment comes with the couches and then these stools tv um tv stand and the table and we have a lot of windows so like the lighting in here is really great during the day this is the way to my room so this is the shared bathroom that i share with my suite mate um, my room is right in there we'll get to that in a second that's the restroom um this is like the sink area this is my sink my medicine cabinet is right here where i keep all my medicine toothbrush all that fun stuff um this is like my little thing i use every day so face wash contacts glasses this is full of hair clips like my nice hair clips that I, whenever i want to like make my hair look a little nicer than usual this three thing i got at dollar tree and it houses a bunch of random stuff that's a soap dish then i have my mickey 100th um soap that like it's a mickey head whenever you press like get the soap out paper towels and it's all in this little gold basket and that's my sink underneath i have three cabinets this first cabinet's a very weird shape but it's where i keep most of my hair stuff underneath the sink directly i just have these little buckets holding everything that big bucket is where i usually have my towels but they're in the wash right now so obviously i can't put them in there but yeah that's under the sink and that's like the sink area then in the bathroom it's literally just a bathroom i mean it has the toilet shower we both get two shelves in the shower um yeah the shower curtain came with it like with the apartment um the little bath mat did not um my sweet mate bought that but then there's this cabinet above the toilet that we don't really use that much um and then that's my towel rack whenever i have towels there and yeah that is the bathroom area now let's get into the room all right so i am in room a so let's go in oh, here she is let me turn on my lights real quick the room and the lighting i like i have this thing of string lights that go up and down and around there's my mirror We'll get to that um and then i have this little lamp that i really enjoy using because it just makes it really homey feeling i usually don't use the that light up there or the fan because the fan has a bunch of dust on it and i kept finding dust bunnies everywhere if you didn't know i'm allergic to dust mites so I'm trying to limit that but we'll start i guess with the main thing the bed so i literally just have this like yellow bed spread um, it's very thin because i didn't want a very thick one um, and then I have like just regular gray sheets on it. These are my two pillows. I have the shams on top of them, um, but there's a gray pillowcase underneath for when I go to sleep. Um, so yeah, it's just a, oh, by the way, my bed is a full XL. I don't know if you can tell, it's pretty big. It was originally right here, but I decided to change it because I didn't like where it was sitting. But yeah, it's a full XL because I have four by two, but we'll start with our 
animals, I guess. So this is a llama that I got. I don't remember when. I went to Bolivia on a missions trip, so I have a lot of llama stuff from that. And this is Mel, my monkey, from when I was like seven. Um, I used to sleep with her every night and she actually came to college with me and now she's here with me, so. Then I have a Scooby just because I love Scooby-Doo. I have a Dumbo that I got on my first trip, or no, my second trip to Disney World. Um, like the second one I made when I was adult and I could actually remember things. I bought this Dumbo because I wanted something to like lay my head on. This Mickey, I got at the character warehouse. Um, he was like 10 bucks and I just liked the colors of him. I think he's the Prince Charming's Royal Carousel. His crown's all messed up, but yeah, there he goes. There, that's him. This is something that my mom has been wanting to get me forever. Um, and we were looking at it online when it first came out and it was like pretty expensive for a pillow. So I was like, no. Then I went to the Disney character warehouse when I moved down here about a month ago and they had it there and it was on sale for like 15 bucks. So I got that there. Let me put all this back and we'll move on. Sorry if I'm talking fast, it's kind of late and I wanna go to sleep. So we'll get all of them back in. They don't have a place really. I just throw them all there. Um, over here I have my Mickey Mouse blanket. Um, I honestly don't use this one as much just cause it's not as big as my pink one. My pink one is the main one I use. A lot of times I don't even use like this yellow thing. I like kick it down to the end of the bed and just use the blanket. It's a pretty big blanket and it's really soft and cozy, but it doesn't get extremely hot. So it's good for the Florida heat. So yeah, that's the bed like top underneath the bed. It's kind of crazy looking honestly just because it's under the bed so I don't look at it much. There is this thing, two drawer thing. I don't even know what, I think have random stuff in here. Like it's just, like I think this is, um, yeah, it's literally just a bunch of random junk that I didn't have anywhere to stuff. So I just stuffed it in there. I think my computer's in this one, I don't even know, honestly. Yeah, my laptop's down in that one along with some magic bands and a like little jar of like pennies and stuff. So, and my like reusable straw and stuff like that. But yeah, I just have that down there. And then down here is two, well this bin, and there's like a other gray one back there. Bins are honestly just from like, whenever I like brought some stuff in a week or two ago, I didn't wanna carry it all, so I put it in one of the bins that was in my car and then I didn't feel like carrying the bin back outside. So but yeah, that's like honestly all that's under here along with my suitcase, my little carry-on. So if I go on a trip while I'm here, which I am gonna do at the end of July, I'm going to North American Youth Congress. So I'm gonna need it for that. So that's the bed area. Now to get to the wall above the bed, which is one of my favorite walls. My mirror and ear wall. Oh, I forgot to mention. So. I'll kind of go through all the ears. So this is a little ear hat they gave us whenever we were at Traditions. Super cute. I've never worn it except for Traditions. This pair I got when I was um, here with my friends a few months back. We all came and they surprised me with it so I didn't bring an ear so I had to obviously buy some for the trip. This pair I got at the Character Warehouse. I think it was like, it was pretty cheap. I don't even know. This pair I bought off of a girl on our Facebook marketplace. Got it for five. That one was pretty cheap. Character Warehouse, Character Warehouse. Both of them were like really cheap. These ones, let me walk around. <laughs> this pink pair is the first pair of Mickey ears I bought. Um, I bought them about a year ago when me and my mom came. And then this blue pair is another pair I bought off of that one girl that were $5. This pair I bought the last, oops. I bought when me and my mom were here. Also, this is how I'm hanging some of them. It's like a little command hook thing and you like slide the bow through it. So I need to put this back up, but this is what me and my mom got when I went to the character warehouse while we were here in April. That's where all the ears are from. The mirror is one that was in my grandmother's house, I believe. So yeah, that's the bed area. Over here we have this lamp. It was like 10 bucks or something like that at Walmart. It has three settings. So this is the lowest setting. It also has, so it goes off and then brightest, second, third. I always keep it on the lowest setting. Again, these are the um, lights I have. I don't have anything on this wall, I just realized. This area is very bare. 
I guess if I get any artwork while I'm here, I'll put it up there. Um, right on this side is my dresser area. I'm not gonna show you what's in the drawers because obviously it's like my clothes and stuff. But yeah, these are my dressers that I have most of my clothes in. Well, my foldable clothes in. Up top, this is actually like a window frame that someone made into a whiteboard, cork board, and um, whatever that's called. Chalkboard, there you go. But over here, I just have my earning my ears ribbon. Since I have children's activities, we couldn't actually wear it, so I just put it up there. Up here, I have my college program acceptance thingy magnet they gave us. I have not put my name on it, but I need to. I kind of have some of my pins up here that I like. I have them a little bit organized, so like these are my Fab Five ones. I just need two more to have the collection of those. There's Donald and Mickey. There's a little Donald with like a sailor outfit. Goofy and Donald. Then here are my like Mickey head ones. So I have a Tower of Terror one because that's my favorite ride. Epcot ball, then a purple Mickey Mouse because my mom's favorite color is Mickey Mouse. MM Mickey Mouse. And then I have this Jessie pen. It's really random. This is Aurora. She's my favorite princess. So I have her. Um, I want to look for a cuter one of her because I don't really like that one, but it'll do for now. This is one that I traded for and I was so excited. It actually it's from a collection it has like all seven doors that like attach right here and it's like a train so i want to try to find the rest of them this is my only one from bambi it's flower and then i have ooh, i just dropped something then i have eeyore and pooh bear i want to get the whole collection of all those but i do not have them yet but soon hopefully soon down here i have my 50th name tag that i only got to wear for like two days because then it ended, but I'm glad I got them. The class after us did not get them. So super happy that I have that memory. This is just something I got whenever I donated like $5 at Animal Kingdom. This is Welcome to Our Friendship Day Celebration. Um, it's from when I ate at Crystal Palace with my mom on our last trip. By the way, I do have a video on that if you wanna watch it. Um, and it has all our signatures, um, Magic Kingdom, Crystal Palace, buffet with character. So. Yep, very, very cute. Um, I don't really know what to write on my whiteboard. My mom wrote Brooklyn Noel, well, Mama's Bell. Um, or did I write that? No, I think my mom wrote that. Honestly, I don't know. One of us wrote it. It kind of looks like my handwriting, but it also looks like my mom's. And we have very different handwriting, so I'm very confused. But one of us wrote that a long time ago, and it's like stuck. So, um, but yeah, I don't know what to write there. Tell me what to write there. This is my little elephant I made in my arts my signature crafts day um of training um we have mosaics at a few of the resorts so we had to learn how to make them so this is mine um i really enjoyed doing this it was super fun super fun and then now it just sits here this little tray i got at goodwill for like two bucks this is a pocket watch that i actually gave my grandfather um uh, probably like f six, seven years ago. And then whenever he passed away, my grandmother gave it back to me. Now, the reason I gave him this is because um, when I was little, he gave me a pocket watch. And I still have it. It's at my house because I didn't want to accidentally lose that one because that one's one he gave me. So it's very, very special to me. This little bangle is something else I made in my signature craft class um, for children's activities. And then the Hollywood Tower Hotel Bell. This actually sat on my desk when I was a teacher. And it was one of my like attention getters. If I did it, they had to like, you know, pay attention. This little thing right here, um, that's where it came from. One of the teachers that I work with, his wife makes ceramics. Um, this was when I was teaching kindergarten. This was ooh, for Christmas. Um, his wife made all of us one of these things and like filled it with candy and gave it to us all for Christmas. That was super sweet. I think it was Christmas. Yeah, it was Christmas because for Valentine's Day, we all had like a secret Valentine. But in here, this is just honestly holding a bunch of random like stuff for hanging stuff up. But I got this at Dollar General um, pop shelf. So, yeah, I don't, I think I want to put flowers or something in it. But right now, it's literally just holding a bunch of like command hooks. This I just made two days ago. So I don't have a place for it yet. Um, if you didn't know, you can go to Animal Kingdom and go to Rafiki's Planet Watch. 
and they have the animation experience where they have a um, artist teach you how to draw a character or an animator. So they we drew Copper that day, super cute. Put him right there. So that's this area right beside it. I have this that I also got at Goodwill for like two bucks or something like years ago. It says one shoe can change your life, Cinderella. I just thought it was so cute, I had to have it. We'll get to the closet in a second. I'm gonna continue with the walls. This is my Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated poster. Super cute. It's sideways, I know. I don't feel like fixing it. It's on the back of the door. I hardly ever see it unless I'm like sitting in here. So it's fine. Um, but yeah, I love Scooby-Doo, so I had to have a little Scooby in here. Up here on this wall is something that I actually got a lot of questions about um, on my TikTok I posted. Um, these are paper dolls that my mom that my mom got when she was younger from I don't think it was like I don't think the woman was technically her godmother but it was like an unofficial aunt if that makes sense um this lady didn't have any kids of her own I don't think or maybe she did I don't know but anyway she loved my mom and my aunt so she gave her paper dolls to my mom and framed them and everything these dolls are over a hundred years old um they're from when that lady was um a child these are what she played with but love those right underneath that i have this nine cubby hole thing we'll start on the top i got this off of the facebook marketplace as well this is a little teacup i got when i was in california it says today is my new favorite day i think the back says the same thing yep so um and it has this little Poster, super cute. Oop, if I don't break it. Um, in here, I literally have the backing to a bunch of Mickey pins so that if I need to one, I can have one. This I need to take back to work with me tomorrow. It goes to um, All Star Music. It's for one of the games. And a kid dropped it and handed it to me. And I just like put it in my pocket thinking, oh, I'll put it back whenever I go back over to where they're, they're stored. And I completely forgot. I keep my Bible up here. So it is accessible um it has my name on it it's kind of fading off but yeah i have all my notes in here um highlight all that so whenever i'm it's time to read my bible i have it right here this little three thing i got at goodwill not goodwill um dollar tree so it was a dollar i have some sewing stuff here that i had to get because my uniform actually ripped my costume so i had to sew it up so i have all that there just in case i need it again and here i have my magic band i've been using and then two watches for whenever I'm feeling like wearing a watch. And here I have, uh, I'm celebrating my Disney program that we got at when we moved in. Then this one, I'm celebrating CP 2023. I actually think I'm going to put these on my cork board over there. I just haven't yet. Um, they, this one I got whenever we went to Port Orleans and stayed the night before I moved in. We told the lady at the desk that I was doing my CP and she made this for me. So super thankful for that. These, this is a SD card and then a flash drive. I honestly don't know what's on either of them. Um, I found them whenever I was unpacking, so I just put them there so I knew where they were. This little elephant I got when I was either in Botswana or Zimbabwe for my missions trip. It's just a little reminder of my missions trip. So yeah, that's the top. In here I have that backpack um it's my favorite backpack and since it's springy right now and summery we're keeping it on display then i have some black heels that are sparkly from my cousin my 50th backpack my favorite pair of pink heels that my cousin got me <laughs> and then another pair of pink heels that another cousin got me my sparkly heels that i wore for banquet and then actually wore them today this is literally full socks all my socks are there this is the Valentine's edition, um, Mickey and Minnie. My sister got them for me for Valentine's Day. Over here, I keep this. I should probably be using this because my hand's starting to cramp up, but oh well. That's my little tripod. Then I have some tape right here. And then this is literally just filled with a bunch of junk, a book I wanna read that I got like two weeks ago and haven't read yet. But yeah, so that's that. <laughs> Moving on to this wall, the final wall. Ooh. This is my calendar and it's on the wrong month. We love that. Um, it's June currently, so that's the thing for June. I need to like put all my work days on there, but 
that's where that hangs. My sister got me that for Christmas, I think, or my mom. Someone got it for me for Christmas. This right here is a candle. It is watermelon scented. I love it so much. Um, but you're not allowed to have open flames here, so it just sits there. And sometimes I turn on the fan and like have it in front of the fan so that it like the fan wafts the scent. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got this at Walmart. And this little tin or this little wire gold basket is from Dollar Tree. This has pennies in it because if you didn't know, um, if you have tulips and you don't want them to droop, you can put about half a dozen pennies in the bottom of it, of your vase, and it will help them stand upright. My mom taught me that. She's a florist, if you didn't know. Um, when I moved in, we had flowers in here, and then I haven't been able to find any more since, so usually I have flowers here. This is a little fan I got. I'm actually going to turn it on a little bit because it's so hot. Oh wait, no, I'm not. It's going to be noisy. But yeah, a little fan I got at Walmart just to keep cool so that way I don't have to turn on that huge one. Down here is honestly just a bunch of random junk. Um, these little bins are from Hobby Lobby. I literally have like my lanyard they gave us when we moved in that I don't use because I have my teacher lanyard that I like better. Um, wireless headphones I don't use. Play-Doh, I don't know. Um, hand sanitizer, hand sanitizers, um, an extension cord, portable charger, my Apple watch that I don't use, another extension cord, a Scooby-Doo dice, a Scooby-Doo Memory Master game, my Sleeping Beauty um, notebook, my planner, crayons, colored pencils, and more tape. So yeah, oh, and then under here is where I keep my um, slippers for whenever I'm ready for bed and wanna wear my slippers, but yeah, that's that area. So that's pretty much the room, how you would see it if you walked in. I will go quickly over my closet because we're taking a lot of time. I didn't think it was gonna take this long. So it is double mirrored, which is great for in the morning when I'm getting ready. This is what it looks like on the inside. Um, this side has all my dresses and then my robe. And then underneath is a little bin where I keep all my shoes. Up top is just a bunch of bags. That's a bunch of hair stuff. That's my bag that I take to work every day. This little organizer thing has all the stuff I need to take to work. So my, um, hip pack that has like all my safety stuff, my thing that I put on, like we put on someone's mouth if I was doing um, rescue breathing, my sandals, my water bottle, face towels, all that kind of stuff. Right here is a bunch of reusable bags for when I go grocery shop shopping. Then this is all my skirts because I don't, I didn't have room to hang them up. So they're all folded in these. So that's that side. This next side, the top is pretty much the same except for this is like my dryer sheets and usually my detergents right here, but I just ran out. Toilet paper, all that fun stuff. This side has all my tops and sweaters and sweatshirts. And then right here is my uniforms. You'll notice that my khaki skirt's not here. That's because it's already packed in my bag with my belt because I don't want to forget it. But yeah, I have five shirts, one blue skirt, one khaki skirt because I had to have a religious accommodation so I don't have them yet. Like the multiples of the skirts yet. Down there, that's a key thing that fell and broke. That was supposed to be my key holder and I put it in the closet because I was mad that it broke and I never got it again. That's my laundry basket. Usually it's full. I'm doing laundry today, so it's not full. But yeah, that is my closet. That's honestly pretty much my room. Um, I don't know if I show you, this is my window. You can kind of see, let me see if I can show you like the blue light that's out there. You see that kind of like blue tinge? There is a blue light out there. That, let me see if, it, if I turn on the light, you might be able to see it. Okay, there and then there that blue light um is what i see all night long let me get this plugged back in well maybe i'll get it plugged back in so so anyway that blue light is um right outside my window it's an emergency light so they have them all over um and you can press a button and it'll call emergency services and get the cops ems whoever you need right to that spot there's ones throughout all the parking lots here um there's one beside like every other building here. So I'm really thankful for that safety precaution, but it is right by my window. So I had to get used to that, but yeah, that's my room, my apartment. Um, I'm going to quickly post, um, or I think at the beginning I'll have inserted the um, bathroom and the living room area and everything. Um, that'll be voiceover just because I want to like respect my fellow sweet mates privacy and everything but um if it, if i haven't already done it i'll do it now 
but I think I'm gonna put that at the beginning. So I think that's gonna be the end of this vlog, or not vlog, sorry, room tour. If you liked it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to update all the content that will be coming soon. I do have a playlist for all my DCP stuff, so if you have any questions, you can go ahead and watch those and see if any of your questions are answered by those. And that's it. All right, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next one.